On 11th of July at 11.54 p.m., I got an email which read, Ivana, your profile name has been changed. At first glance, I thought that it was some kind of a spam email because in today's day and age, you tend to get a lot of e spam emails on your primary email. But upon opening that email, I found out that it wasn't actually spam. It was a legit email from LinkedIn. Now, the problem was, it was my account which was compromised. Uh, for like five minutes, I was in complete denial because a guy who is like tech enthusiast who, who keeps his accounts updated with two-factor authentication, how could this happen to him? Now, I had to keep myself calm and I had to, first of all, recover that account. But as bad as it should get, the internet wasn't working. So the broadband connection was undergoing some maintenance and at the same time, my Telenor 4G network was not working. This was one of the worst things that could happen if your online account gets hacked. So it took me around 20 to 25 minutes in order for me to get my uh, account recovered. Like first of all, I had to change my password and then I had to go and delete everything that has been posted on, on that account. Now it took me around 25 to 30 minutes because of the net connectivity. But thankfully, I had my backup email written over there and also phone number was updated. I got my account back but this is an alarming situation and the reason behind making of this video is that LinkedIn is prone to attacks it's like any other social networking site like Facebook or Twitter it is prone to attacks from uh, hackers and malicious uh, coders now one thing that I wanted to know was that how come that uh, my account was hacked because I did not click on any of the malicious links that I have uh, got and I did not you know follow any of the spam accounts so I, I got one thing in my mind that no matter what you do, no matter if you do not follow any account, no matter if you do not click on any phishing uh, sites, your account can get compromised. See, LinkedIn has been, uh, you know, crowded with so many spammers and so many hackers because obviously it is a place where people would try to apply for a job and they would think that obviously, uh, you know, genuine and legit recruiters will be there in order to reply to your messages, but it's not the case. There are a lot of uh, scammers, there are a lot of uh, hackers over there and you have to be vigilant in order to search for a legitimate, uh, you know, job opportunity in, over there. So what I did afterwards is that I immediately set up a two-factor authentication for my LinkedIn account, which was the only account that did not have any two-factor authentication. Now there are two options, either you set up the two-factor authentication linked to your phone number or you set up it through an external uh, thing like an authenticator application. By authenticator, I mean you can e even use a Google authenticator or you can use a Microsoft authenticator. It's up to you. So I mostly use a Google authenticator and it's pretty nice and convenient thing that I uh, use it and it randomly generates codes. So upon logging into LinkedIn, it will ask you about that particular code and you just have to punch in the code from that authenticator at that particular time. So the issue got resolved uh, for me. But it's such an alarming situation that <laughs> a site like LinkedIn is prone to attacks. And yeah, that is that is uh, a very bad scenario. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you like this video. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos like this soon. As you guys have seen that I have recently crossed 1000 subscribers on YouTube. So there is a special video coming uh, in the future for that particular 1000 uh, uh, subscribers. But the thing is that uh, there has been considerable delay because of other commitments. So I'm not, you know, focusing on the channel uh, fully. So therefore, it will take a while for that 1000 subscriber video to uh, be posted on the channel soon. So that's about it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.